welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and if you're new here I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing. So welcome to this week's Friday Sews where I talk to you about what I've been doing in the world of sewing and what my plans are for the week ahead. Now first of all I need to do a big apology for not releasing a vlog last Friday. Um, Friday was Good Friday and I just didn't get time. Uh, as a lot of you that watch me As a lot of you who watch me know, I've got three girls and my littlest daughter, my youngest daughter is four years old. And she was off nursery Friday and it just meant I didn't get time to film a vlog. And also over the weekend, we were just busy doing different things and I just decided to just give it a miss this week. So apologies. Plus, I didn't really have much content to show you either. So yeah, sorry about that. But I'm back this Friday with some content for you. And I'm also going to have another vlog up this week, which I will talk about in a minute. So let's talk about what I'm wearing. Well, this moves me very nicely onto what I have made this week. For the week so, of March, it was So Frugal, which was a challenge that was ran by Sam from Frugalissima and also Ruan, the Yorkshire Sew Girl. They've run this, I think it's the fourth year running. And the premise of the challenge is to make a pattern that's freely accessible to everybody uh, with a fabric in your stash. So I did a vlog which went down really, really well, you guys, um, on that about makes that I'd made before um, out of free patterns. And I basically went through all the free patterns that I'd made since I started sewing and showed you those makes and then talked about what I, my plans were for my Sew Frugal makes. Now, I ended up making two Sew Frugal makes. I only actually posted one of them because I hadn't hemmed the second make, um, but they're basically the same pattern anyway, so it was kind of cheating if I did, if I uh, posted it twice. But what I'm actually wearing is the Peppermint Magazine loungewear set. So let me just get the instructions out. So this is the loungewear set, set by Peppermint Magazine. It's Common Stitch is the pattern designer that makes these, which I haven't actually heard of, uh, not necessarily well known but they are such a great pattern. So I made these first time round in a cotton I got from a hobby craft, which was a lovely fabric that I bought when I very first started sewing. Uh, however, they don't fit me anymore because I have put on a couple of stones since then, so they don't fit me. So I was desperate to make a new pair. So the loungewear set is, is sold as a luxurious um, loungewear set. Um, it's got built-in sleeves, a scoop back hem and neck facings and the pants are 7 8 length with wide hems, deep pockets and elasticated waist. And you can obviously make a shorts version or a trouser version. Now the sizing is, the sizing I quite like because it's sizing letters, not sizes, which is always nice. Uh, it is in centimetres, so I had to do a bit of conversion into into inches. And the and the and the size that I made last time was I think I made a size C bottom and a B top, but this time I had to size up and I went for a D top and a size E on the bottoms because they do come up quite oversized. I think my measurements actually put me in a couple of sizes bigger, but when I did finish garment measurements, this is what I was happy with. And I do recommend doing that. I just put the tape measure around me in the inches or centimeters that it says for finished garment measurements and check that I'm happy with the amount of ease that I've got. Now the fabric requirements are quite fabric hungry for this. So in the top sizes, it's um, for the top it's 1.8. And for the bottoms, it's two metres. So you need a good three, four metres of wide fabric for this. The instructions are absolutely super. Really is a beginner friendly pattern because it is one of the first patterns, if not probably the first clothing pattern I ever made. So I really, really do recommend it. And let me show you my versions. So I had two types of double gauze. I had this navy star dot double gauze and then this rust colour and I made the three quarter length um, trousers first in this fabric so I've got those and then I also made the top and I put a little label that says from my stash 
and I think in this one I put made in me time and they're gorgeous the pockets are a really really lovely detail so i've got some photographs that i'll put in but the pockets are lovely so you can strut the pockets and then fold over the waistband afterwards but yeah they're just a really gorgeous pocket um got a pocket bag so you could do some contrasting fabrics there i did kind of toy with the idea of mixing the colors but um i didn't in the end so yeah they are my first pair which i entered for so frugal and then these are my other pair that i made with the rust i'm just going to move back with the rust fabric so these are a short as you can see I'm trying to let me try and stand on something so these are the shorts version turn around so i'm just on a step so balancing precariously a bit crazy because i've been sat in them but i didn't have just turn around but yeah i really like the rust color fabric as well and this can mix and match with the navy. So I've almost got four outfits because I can wear the navy with the rust top or the navy top with the rust bottoms. Um, so yeah, a nice little combo there. I would have preferred to have the longer length because even in the summer, I like a longer length trouser, but I didn't actually have enough fabric of this i only had did i have two meters of this or what yeah two meters of this whereas i had three meters of the blue let's put this back uh so i ended up having to cut the back on the fold which i think looks fine and obviously went with the shorts but i'm really happy with it now i haven't got a picture of this at time of filming but i will get one now while i'm wearing it and put it up and these are so lovely they're really warm but really cool as well it's so strange Obviously, I'm um, at that time in my life where I'm going through perimenopause symptoms, so I find I have hot and cold flush. And I've just found these just to be these just to be amazing. I have actually worn them around the house. I've also worn them to go to bed in, and yeah, they're just great. I am a big fan of double gauze. I don't think I'm a big fan of it in clothing, but I think for loungewear and simple sews maybe oversized dresses it's a great kind of fabric for that anything more fitted i probably wouldn't tend to use this but yeah now i've used literally all of my double gauze in my stash the only double gauze i've got now are very small pieces that i've got as remnant pieces for alice so yeah i'm eager to make her some pajamas for the summer actually because i think she'll really like them too so yeah that is my loungewear set what else to tell you about it Oh, I did put a little tag in these ones, actually. I put one on the side, not that side, this side. So this is one of my new labels that says comfy because it is comfy. <laughs> now, I also have another make to show you. Now, this is something that I had cut out for a while and made up this week because there's a challenge coming up that I have got another vlog out, which hopefully I'll be able to link up here. And it's all about a new challenge for April, which is called So April Blouse 24. And this is being ran by two lovely ladies. Ruan, again, the Yorkshire So Good, who is supporting Gabrielle from The Cloth Edit with running this challenge. Now, The Cloth Edit is a wonderful fabric company, which I've never actually ordered from, actually, because they're in Australia and the postage is always quite expensive. But it does beautiful fabrics and I wish I could. Now, I've got a vlog, as I said, that I've launched with some inspiration, 10 patterns that I either have or want to sew up for blouses to give you some inspiration, which, as I said, I'll link up here or here. Um, but because one of these blouses I actually already had cut out, I got it made up this week. And this is it. This is the Regalia blouse by Sew House 7. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It's, um, I've got a little label. This is fabric from a little miss so-and-so box that i got ages ago um and i've got this little label that says material girl in it and i'll put a picture of me wearing it this fabric is a merchants and mills cut indian block print cotton and it's just gorgeous it's quite muted tones for me but it's got some warm colors in it um, and some contrast so really really like it there's lots of different versions of this um blouse you can have ties around the waist short sleeves long sleeves it's got this gorgeous little tie at the back here the yoke's got a yoke inside so it's really neat inside as well let me show you oh you are privileged to me for me to show you the inside <laughs> 
so this is the inside so you can see it's really really neat inside and here all enclosed and it's just a really really nice blouse it's super great construction the instructions are brilliant and i mean there's not much more to say i really really enjoyed sewing this um this cotton is gorgeous and yeah it's great and also i think you could lengthen this into a beautiful dress as well that's kind of what's going through my head you could kind of like just take it down all the way um and yeah it'd be really nice now i'm not sure what size i made in this but i will put all the sizes and everything in my um blouses vlog that will be uploaded tonight too but yeah really really like that one as well so they're my makes for this week i usually on the last saturday of the month i usually go to becky from what beck sews sewing social but unfortunately it wasn't on because the center was shut for easter so me and becky still met up and went shopping we went to market harbour which is renowned for some brilliant charity shops and some secondhand clothing stores and we had an absolute ball we met up early had lunch well I had a coffee had lunch and we had a little mooch around the shops and spent a bit of money on some secondhand clothes but i won't bore you with those on this but what i did get was sewing related let me show you what i got from one charity shop so in the loros shop they had this roll of elastic which i have no idea how much is on it oh it says 100 meters for three pounds how amazing is that and yeah i was really chuffed with that i actually said to her is this just for the three pounds for the whole thing and she was like yeah so yeah i was buzzing with that so yeah check out your crafting sections of the charity shops they're amazing <laughs> okay so that's what i got to now i don't have a sewing social this week but i do have a sewing social the following week which i'm very excited about and i am going to be spending the month of april i think focusing on what blouses i'm going to make for the sew april blouse challenge so i don't want to talk about too much of, to do with that if you want to head over and see what my plans are for the challenge then please head over to my separate vlog on it but yeah i think i'll be making a decision this week on exactly what i want to make and uh, getting it all cut out and ready for the social now in other news i have had a big sort out of all my fabric so most of you know that i have had my colors done and it's been so great really really definitely recommend it i had my colors done by um, radiantly by chelsea i will put her details in the show notes but it was just it's been a priceless um experience for me really and it's really made me reassess all my fabrics and i've been ruthless i would say that i have probably got rid of a third of my fabrics well not got rid of put aside to sell and there's some really nice ones in there there's a few see you at six fabrics and yeah some really nice quality fabrics in there and if you don't follow my d stash account and you'd like to i'll put the d stash account link on instagram in the notes below and it, i'll put it here so you can see it but pop over and follow me because over the next few days i am going to be uploading quite a few fabrics what i'll say is if you want to if you do see a fabric on there that you like uh, but you want to wait to see what else i'm going to put on there then feel free to just message me and say that i have a lot of people who will buy a fabric and say can i just hold off paying the postage until you launch a few more fabrics but yeah watch your space over the next week or so i'm going to be putting my fabrics on there and i'm not going to be spending any of the money i get on more fabrics because i don't need any more fabric <laughs> no one believes me but yes i have been really ruthless i have sorted out and i have actually cleared out i had some some of you know i actually had some of my fabrics in my daughter's wardrobes they have now actually free of fabric because i have gotten rid of enough that means in my actual dedicated fabric spaces which is under my bed and in here all the fabric is there now which is great so yes very very happy with that and i actually need to once i've got rid of all these fabrics i really want to just re-go back through stash hub and get all of my fabrics organized i have started a little bit some of you might see that i've got these numbers here so on stash hub you can actually put what where the location is of your fabrics and i've never had a system for that before so i've got a lot of fabrics on stash hub but does, i don't know where they are so now what i've done is i've numbered all of my calax units and the plan is now that i've sorted through and got rid of a lot of the fabrics that i don't love anymore i want to 
go back through, check everything is on my Stash Hub and tell the location that it is. So then I can actually scroll through on Stash Hub, see a fabric I like and actually come straight to it in the drawer that it's in. That's the plan anyway. Okay, and then finally, I just want to say thank you to a couple of lovely ladies that have bought me a Kofi in March on um, my Kofi account, and that's Jennifer, Louise, and Julie. Thank you for buying me a virtual coffee on my Kofi account. And if you want to support my channel further, like these ladies do, you can make a note donation um, through the link below. And that just goes back into the channel and um, for me to bring you more content. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you get loads of sewing done this weekend and if you've liked this vlog please click the like button and if you don't subscribe already you know what to do subscribe now <laughs> okay that's enough of the promotion okay I hope to see you all soon happy sewing bye